Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in and welcome to this session on digital marketing tutorial. Now, if you're an entrepreneur or if you're someone who is working for a company, just like building the product and building a great product, like building a great product is very important. It's always important to ensure that you reach that product to the right set of customers. See, unless and until you get your product and reach the right set of customers, your customers will not be able to appreciate the hard work that you have done. And also the customers may not get the complete benefit as well without your product. So it is very important that you not only focus on building, but also think about how you can ensure that you're going to meet the right set of customers at the right time. Now in this digital world, we've got everyone who is online. And that's where the digital marketing come into picture. Okay, so as part of a learning journey today, we will understand what exactly is this digital marketing. You'll understand about SEO, which is also known as search engine optimization. And we'll look into the difference between on page versus off page SEO. And then we'll also look into some of the steps that you need to follow to build a career in digital marketing. All right, so. Let's get started and let's get an introduction to what exactly is this digital marketing. Well, in the world where we have more than 170 million people who are using the social media on a regular basis, every working professional is obviously is expected to be familiar with at least the core tenets of the digital marketing. So in simple terms, I can say that this digital marketing is the promotion of products over the internet or any form of the electronic media. Now, if I want to quote from the Digital Marketing Institute, I can say that this digital marketing is the use of digital channels to promote the products or market your products and services to the targeted set of customers and the business. And that is what this digital marketing is all about, guys. And here, when we talk about this digital marketing, so people are consuming the digital content on a daily basis and with that with the progress that we are seeing right now guys, I can say very soon the traditional marketing platforms will definitely disappear and this digital market, I would say it will definitely take over everything. One of the main advantage when it comes to this digital marketing unlike traditional marketing this digital marketing is much more affordable if you check out on the prices that you have to pay for placing a banner for placing an ad or for running an ad in YouTube and if you compare it with the front page uh, advertisement you know which one is cheaper isn't it guys and the best part is with this digital marketing you can actually reach the wider audience in a very small amount of time so with the technological advances, this has actually resulted in considerable attrition of the customer base of the traditional marketing agencies and the departments. So people have actually moved to tablets, phones and computer, which are actually the key areas where these digital marketers have gained the most ground. So to get and to help you understand about this digital marketing, let's have a look at this evolution of digital marketing. So talking about this, so this term digital marketing, frankly, guys, this was actually introduced in the year of 1990s. So the digital age, it actually took out like while coming off from our internet, like while coming off the internet, it's just started the digital kicked up, like it kicked the internet and the development of web 1.4 platform at that time. So using that web 1.4 platform at that time, it actually allowed the users to find the information they wanted. But the thing is, it did not allow them to share this information over the web. Now up until then, the marketers worldwide, they were still unsure what they have to do with this like digital platform in the years I'm talking about 1990s guys. And they were not sure actually whether their strategies would work because that was the time where the internet was not so available to anyone. And just a fun fact, guys, in the year of 1993, the first clickable banner it actually went live. After which, 
a uh, hot wired hot wired is a company they purchase a few banner ads for their advertising and this actually marked the beginning of the transition to the digital era of the marketing till then people were using the traditional mode of marketing and that is when it began the transition to the digital area of marketing now because of this gradual shift the year 1994 it saw the new technologies to enter the digital marketplace and it's the same year where this yahoo website was actually launched okay now once this is launched and even in 1998 it saw the birth of google and microsoft launched the msn search engine and yahoo bought the market yahoo uh, web search and two years later the internet bubble has burst and all the smaller search engine were either left behind or wiped out leaving no space for this change in the business now what happened in that scenario is guys here with this web 2.0 was also came into picture at that time so when google and microsoft when big guys came and small people were left behind and that came actually the web 2.0 now this web 2.0 is a place where people became much more active they actually started participating very actively over the internet previously people were just a passive users now with web 2.0 people started becoming much more interactive they started interacting with other users and the businesses and they started seeing the labels like super information highway and it was applied to the internet and as a result the information flow volumes including the channels utilized by digital marketers it increased many fold and by the year of 2004 this internet advertising and the marketing it actually bought in almost 2.9 billion close to 3 billion was the amount that was spent in the year of 2004 guys and that's when we started seeing some of the social networking sites they began to emerge so we can say that orkut myspace so these were some of the social networking sites they started arriving and even the facebook so many companies they realized all these fresh new sites that were popping up and were beginning they're actually their new dose of opportunities to market their products and brand so it actually created fresh avenues for the business and signal the beginning of the new chapter to the business and even now if you open the facebook you'll see the ads around the business isn't it you'll see that how this company has improved they say with their digital marketing and you can also promote yourself do the digital marketing for your company using the facebook and that is how this technology is ever growing so in order to grow and in order to do all these things guys i would say if you have experience and if you have opened any website you'll see a pop-up which says as cookie so that cookie concept was actually another milestone in this digital marketing strategy so these advertisers what they had done was they had begun to look for other ways to capitalize on this fledging technology and one such technique was to track the common browsing habits and the usage patterns of the frequent users of the internet so that we can tailor the promotions and marketing the collateral so that it will match the taste of the users so this cookie is nothing but it's a track like they will be able to track what are the things that we have searched and this concept of cookie was just designed to record the user's habit and the use of cookie has actually changed over the years and cookies today are actually coded to offer the marketers a variety of ways to collect and work with this user data so this is about a quick introduction to the evolution of digital marketing how it all started it basically came into picture when the internet started becoming more and more familiar with the users and when more users started you becoming the active users in the internet and that is when people and the businesses started seeing this opportunity to market their prices their market their products and the services now that you have the familiar idea about this digital marketing let's understand what exactly is this digital marketing well as i mentioned it's all about advertising delivered through digital channels 
that's it i'll be delivering some advertisement about my business products and services through the digital channel so it can be search marketing email marketing social media marketing and so so on so these are some of the ways in which i'll be marketing my products and services through the digital channel now here the next question is why i mean why should i use this digital marketing why can't i use any other thing see as i mentioned this is a growing field because the companies of all sizes and sectors are focusing more and more developing a robust online presence and this is a field where we see it as an ever changing and an engaging field and also there's always something new to learn with this digital marketing and here when we talk about this application it is used in everywhere it is used in digital tech like it like it is used in building the brand reputation building the lead generation ensuring the business survival and more importantly it will help the companies to provide the better data analytics when i say building the brand reputation see when i say building the brand reputation it's always important to have an online business of any company in this digital world so digital marketing will actually help you to build an audience and create a trust factor with them and lead generation i would say when it comes to digital marketing using this like uh, digital marketing you can generate the leads so just think about it guys just think about it from the company perspective the biggest goal of any digital marketing campaign is to generate new leads which will ultimately become customers or the clients and that is how the overall journey of a lead would look like so we'll get the leads we'll have some cold calls in a general scenario and then uh, he'll express his interest and on top of that you'll do a follow up call and you'll do some any intermediate steps and at the end with that lead you are able to convert that lead into a customer now if you have a strong digital marketing strategy then i would say that's a great way to reach your audience and also gain some new ones and with this digital marketing guys this will ensure the survival of the business because these digital marketers you can come up with the number of innovative ways to entice the customer so this can actually help the companies to take the necessary steps for the success and the betterment of their businesses and more importantly it provides the better data analytics so this digital marketing it's going to help you analyze the traffic information where are your customers like what kind of users that you have and from which region are they from what is the devices that they are using now once you understand your customer from this traffic information you can actually plan better marketing strategies you can get greater insight on the customer preferences create campaigns on the basis of their buying patterns all these things that you'll be able to do with the help of this digital marketing which is not at all possible from the traditional ways now that you have understood why let's take a look at the types of digital marketing see when we talk about types of digital marketing so here we've got content marketing we've got email marketing we've got social media marketing we've got uh, i would say like online pr marketing email marketing advertising so these are some of the ways where you can market where you can uh, like these are some of the various types of digital marketing guys social media is like creating the posts in social media ensuring that you have the social media presence of your business content marketing is i would say anything and everything which you take the action to do something to generate and to bring in more number of customers then i would say that is what we call it as a content marketing okay and here we've got email marketing so email marketing is nothing but collecting the email information it's actually a decade old marketing strategy and it's still hailed as one of the most effective digital marketing techniques guys here this serves as a cost effective way of delivering the messages to convert your leads into the sales by sending them a personalized email to the targeted customer okay and we've got the seo which is also known as search engine optimization which we'll be talking about it in a bit and we've got the online pr that is public relations and so on 
so these are the various types of digital marketings which you should consider for your business so let's talk about this search engine optimization now when i talk about this search engine optimization it's also called as seo so this actually refer to improving your site's visibility in the google search result for the relevant keywords or the search phrases now this seo it helps in generating the site traffic in a natural manner here online consumers are actually more likely to select one of the first 10 results from a search engine while looking for a service or a product guys and even we do it isn't it guys when you search something in amazon you are most likely to pick a product in the first page rather than going to the next pages so these 10 results are preferred because they are all actually well written thoroughly optimized using seo and that is the reason this seo plays an important role so when we talk about this seo we've got various types of search engine optimization we've got on page seo we've got off page seo we've got technical seo we've got various types of seo guys all right now that you have understood about seo so there's another type of digital marketing is called as content marketing so what exactly is this content marketing now content marketing is a marketing strategy that has been used to attract engage and retain an audience by creating and sharing the relevant articles videos posts and other media okay so this approach this content marketing approach establishes the expertise it promotes the brand awareness and more importantly it keeps your business top of the mind when it is actually time to buy what you sell so if you have ensure that you have seeded a concept to the customer okay if you want to learn something this is the brand that you should go to if you have placed that seed into that customer now when he thinks about buying it it will not be a difficult decision for the customer to buy that product from you because you have already planted a seed in that customer's mind that you are someone who has the authority you are someone who has the expertise and when he when he decides to buy <laughs> like there won't be much i can say resistance from the customer because the customer knows that you are someone who is known for that particular content this is about the content marketing where the quality content is the fuel that drives your digital marketing strategies so this denotes the creation and promotion of the content it could be videos blogs and so on and we've got paid marketing now here when we talk about paid marketing okay paid marketing is one of the quickest ways i would say to help the potential customers discover your brand and offering so what you'll do in this scenario is you're going to purchase the advertising which allows you to specifically target the audience instead of waiting for them to find you organically and this is called as paid marketing so it's also known as paid search or pay per click it refers to sponsored result on the search engine result of the pages so when you search for google you'll get some sponsored links right so that is called as paid marketing strategy and another one we call it as uh, uh, social media marketing so here in this scenario of uh, social media marketing what happens is where the people it's about using the social media platforms to interact with the customers to build the brands increase the sale and driving the web traffic that's what this social media marketing is all about and then we've got email marketing as i mentioned it's one of the age-old ways so we use the emails to promote content events and discounts and direct the people towards the business website so and so with this email con marketing you'll be having a trustworthy trustworthy and it will make you relevant and you can also make it conversational as well and if the customers has any queries they can also respond to you in the email so there will be a coordination between you and your customers and you'll be able to deliver it with a certain strategy so that you'll meet the right customers and you get to engage your most important customers next we've got mobile marketing so this 
is a latest one, especially after the uh, after we've got various people into the mobile and everyone is now using the internet. So here, mobile marketing is nothing but advertising activity which promotes the products and services via mobile devices. It could be tablets or smartphones. So the reason this is getting more interesting because mobile devices are actually becoming an integral part of our life. So it, it has actually become vital for us as a marketers to understand how to communicate on this channel in an effective manner. Okay, now that you have understood the various types of digital marketing, let's have a look at the search engine optimization. Now, when we talk about search engine optimization, as I mentioned, it's a process of increasing the quality of your website traffic. And when we talk about the types, okay, there are various types of search engine optimization. We've got the white hat SEO. Now, white hat SEO, it actually means the SEO practices which are in line with the terms and conditions of the major search engine, including the Google. And using this white hat SEO, it improves your search engine ranking on the SERPs while regulating the integrity of your website with the search engine's terms of condition. Now, this white hat SEO practices are, I would say, the best way to create a successful website. So, some key things that you need to follow whenever you are uh, creating a website is use a keyword rich descriptive meta tags, provide the quality services and the content to the website's visitor, make your website uh, easier to navigate. So, these are some of the key things that you need to consider whenever you want to implement this white hat SEO. Next, we've got black hat SEO. So this exploits the weakness in the Google search algorithm and you'll try to rank the higher in its search result. So spammy or paid link building strategies, keyword shuffling, cloaking, they're actually used to get ahead in the search engine result. So guys, one thing that you have to remember, these practices, will give you the instant result but the thing is they can impact your website in a negative manner if it is detected by the google hence it is very much rec recommended to avoid black hat seo next we've got gray hat seo this uh, gray hat seo is riskier than the white hat seo i would say the reason because Gray hat SEO practices belong to the neither white hat nor the black hat category in, because of the terms and conditions regarding the issues are unclear. However, using the gray hat SEO practices will not result in the side ban from the search engines. In simpler terms, the material or content that you publish in accordance with the gray hat SEO remains ill-defined. So knowing the gray hat SEO practices can save your website from losing the traffic because you'll be well aware of the negative consequences which will help you adapt the fair practices. So this is about the gray hat SEO. Next we've got something called as on-page SEO. On-page SEO is a process of optimizing the web pages, title tags, internal links, HTML, URL images and many other on the page elements to improve the rankings and the user experience. Okay, we've got off-page SEO. Off-page SEO means you can think of off-page SEO as everything that you do outside your web website to rank higher in the Google search result. So this would in include getting a good social media advertising, getting clients to give you good reviews on online forums, getting links from the credible websites, uh, credible credible websites in the same field as you. So that's called as on-site SEO. And we've got the technical SEO. Technical SEO means, I would say, the primary goal of this technical SEO is to assist Google bots in successfully crawling, interpreting, and indexing your website pages. For example, creating an extensive XML sitemap and making your site mobile friendly are some of the common tactics that you can use it to help the web spiders filter and categorize your pages on the basis of their content. Okay, so this is about my technical SEO. Apart from that, we've got various other techniques which is not covered in the slide. We've got international SEO, local SEO, e-commerce SEO, content SEO, mobile SEO, negative SEO. So these are the other ways where you can 
optimize your search engine guys now you might be wondering after learning this seo search engine optimization you will be curious to understand what exactly is this search engine and how does this search engine work so that is what you might have i mean that is what you will be interested in knowing isn't it guys so let's understand how does this search engine is going to work see the way this search engine is going to work is the search engine works by crawling the hundreds of billions of pages using their own web crawlers and these web crawlers are actually referred as search engine bots or spiders so a search engine navigates the web by downloading the web pages and follows the link on this page to these pages to discover many new pages guys so this is what happens in the scenario of the search engine bots and here by downloading this they have been made available now once this crawling is complete the next step is will perform the indexing so these web pages which have been discovered by the search engine are added to a data structure and we call it as an index and this index would include all the discovered urls along with number of relevant key signals about the contents like each url such as keywords content freshness of the page previous user engagement and so on so all those things will be utilized over here and next it's about ranking so this is a process in which the search engine will pick highly relevant content and display it on the highest position of the search engine so this is how the search engine is going to work now we've got various tools that are available for performing the search engine optimization we've got kw finder rank tracker moz google search console we've got google ads so these are some of the various seo tools which you can use it as part of your seo strategy as you have clearly seen this is a program which is working closely with the business and you will be creating an impact to the business so since this is the one which is closer to the industry when you talk about learning this field it is very important that you follow an approach which we call it as a structured learning approach talking about this structured learning approach at edureka see this is a learning approach which is present to help you progress in a step by step manner so in this digital marketing certification training course first you'll get an introduction to digital marketing how and what and then in the second module it's about seo keyword planning and on page optimization and the third module is around seo of this off page optimization fourth module it's about search engine marketing with the help of google ads fifth module is around email marketing sixth module is around social media marketing which is with facebook and instagram and seventh module social media marketing with youtube eighth module mastering the google analytics and module 9 and 10 it's around getting yourself completely familiar with google analytics and creating an integrated digital marketing campaign which is a self paced course so this is how your learning journey with this digital marketing certification training program with edureka would look like as you can clearly see you will go from beginner to an expert through this learning journey which will ensure that you get to work in the team of digital marketing moving on the next topic that we have is on page versus off page so what exactly is this on page versus off page so here if i want to describe in a single sentence on page it refers to seo factors and the techniques which are focused on optimizing the aspects of your website which are under your control that is what an on page seo would mean and when we talk about off page it refers to seo factors and the strategies which are focused on promoting your site or the brand around the web and that is what the off page seo so on page seo everything that you can do in your website to understand your site improve the chances that you will rank higher for your target keywords 
and talking about off page it's the action that you will take to establish your authority and help boost your site's ranking so this is called as off page seo so essentially i can say that my on page seo is about building a website which appeals to user therefore the search engine while uh, like off page seo is about uh getting the exposure for a website while building trust and authority for your content so that's the major difference between on page seo and off page seo now if you are someone who is into building your career into the digital marketing then some of the key steps that you need to do guys are something like this first you need to be good with marketing channels so for that you need to get the basics of digital marketing understand what are the domains what is the one that is currently trending right now understand the basics getting ready and becoming good with marketing channels the various marketing channels that we have discussed in today's session and understand the power of data analytics how to look at the data how to derive the insights from the data so that should be your next skill and the third one have the basic design skills as i mentioned the on page seo is all about building a better user interface for the users so have the basic design skills so that you can work with the site designer for the company that you are working with so that you can create the impact by ensuring that you have a design language which is published in the website which speaks the core principles of the company in an easier manner and you need to have a knowledge of publishing the right content to the right set of users so these are some of the core skills for building your career as a digital marketer now talking about the job roles and the scope of this digital marketer here in this domain of digital marketing so the digital marketing manager an average salary of the digital marketing manager in india is 5 lakh rupees and in us it is closer to $65000 per year and seo manager is around the same 5 lakh rupees and 67000 and talking about social media expert social media marketing expert the average salary in india is around 3 lakh 65 66000 rupees and in us it's around $50000 an year and talking about the other roles so the content marketing manager average salary in india is 5 lakh 70000 rupees and in us it's around 57000 and sem specialist the in india it's about 30 3 lakh 66000 rupees and in us the average salary is 47000 per year okay as you can clearly see with the role of a digital marketer you can work in various domains and various departments in order for you to progress in order for you to succeed we have created a road map for you to become a digital marketer first thing you'll have to get thorough with the basic skills get to know the basics of digital marketing so you should be good with marketing channels google analytics and so on so it's obviously the first step guys it's obviously the first step that you need to understand what exactly is this digital marketing and the core components of this digital marketing so because when we talk about digital marketing we've got various number of components like uh, you have to cover all the areas of online promotion you need to understand that it's not a single discipline but it has actually the number of processes that is a channels which can participate in your digital marketing campaign so you need to be aware of the various channels such as website marketing pay per click advertising email marketing affiliate marketing video marketing radio marketing billboard marketing you need to be aware of everything okay and next i would say getting yourself with the advanced skill set so creating your own marketing campaign assist formulation strategies understand what is happening with the data start working over there start gaining the insights from the marketing activities that you have done and the third step obviously get yourself in hands on exposure 
plan and monitor the business processes analyze the growth using the google analytics become an expert in google analytics because the more you know how to read the data the more power that you have the more metrics that you will be able to measure how well your marketing activity is actually giving you the out outcome for you whether it is working as per the expectation at least you'll have a measurable idea whether it is working or whether it is not working so this was about the digital marketing tutorial for you where we have gone in depth from understanding what exactly is this various types of digital marketing we have gone into the depth and we have seen looked into the skill set job roles and at the end we have also looked into the overall process that you have to follow to become a digital marketer i hope you guys have had fun and i hope you guys have learned something new today so thank you so much guys take care everyone i'll see you next time